Hi and welcome back. In this video, we will cover what are structs. A struct or structure is a user-defined data type. It allows to combine existing data types to define a new type. Structures may be used to represent a record. For example, every game has objects or entities such as player, enemies, different obstacle types, etc. Each of these entities has a texture X and Y position. So we can use a struct keyword to define a new data type called entity, and we can use that new data type to represent player, enemies, and other objects in our game. Creating a struct variable or object is like creating any other variable. To access struct's members, use the dot operator and the name of the variable. You can also group functions inside structs then members of the struct will be visible to these functions. To call that function, use the dot operator. Now, let's talk a little bit about constructors and destructors. Every structure has a default constructor and a default destructor function. A constructor is executed whenever we create a new object of that struct. Its responsibility is to prepare an object for use by assigning appropriate values to its members. And right before these objects are destroyed, a destructor function is called. These two functions let us automatically initialize the struct object and free the memory or execute anything else before the object is destroyed. To create a constructor, we need to use this keyword. It will take three arguments, a string, x, and y position. Now let's create a destructor to free the texture memory. To create a destructor, type out tilde this. Let's rewrite our code. This time, we can directly invoke the constructor by typing out the struct name, and inside the parentheses, we need to specify the arguments in the same order as in the constructor. Compile and run. And when we quit our program before entity object is destroyed, the destructor function will be run, and it will free the texture memory. And this will happen with every entity structure object you create. That's it. In the next video we will cover modules and working with multiple files. Have a nice day.